Hi everyone, it's Macy, and today we are going to be talking about Harry Potter. This is the year of Harry Potter. Not only do we have the Cursed Child, but then we also have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Two major things coming out this year. The hype is real. Now, as you probably know, J.K. Rowling came out on Pottermore with the new Ilva Morney houses. Sad to say, but I did not videotape myself uh, taking the sorting hat quiz. But to be honest, we don't even know if it's a sorting hat. I took the test and I was sorted into Thunderbird. So now I'm a Thunderbird and a Gryffindor. It was weird going into like this test and answering these questions and having no idea what the houses were, what the traits were, like anything about it. It actually felt kind of nice. Comment down below what your Elva Morney house is. Switching topics a bit to the Hogwarts houses. I myself have always been a Gryffindor and I know for a fact that if I was not in Gryffindor I would be a Hufflepuff. Sometimes I feel like I belong more in the Hufflepuff house. I'm scared of the dark, I'm scared of heights, I'm scared of a bunch of stuff, but yet I'm still in Gryffindor. And that's not to say that I don't take risks. I mean, that's why I fit so well with Neville Longbottom, why he's my favorite character. Even though he's scared of stuff, he still takes risks and stands up for himself. Me and Neville Longbottom are perfect examples of not every Gryffindor is brave. I'm not saying that we aren't brave, we both do brave things, but just sometimes we're really scared. I am a proud Gryffindor, even though sometimes I take the safe route. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, please go subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Bye!